Danny Brown, um, what do you think happens before we're born? Um, we swimming in somebody's balls. We're just going straight in. We, is this happening? Is it just like that? Okay, man. How do you think humanity's gonna end? In war, we just all gonna kill each other. But it's gonna be the robots too, some AI technology. Yeah. Yeah, and yes. then it's gonna be some people that side with the robots and the AI and be like, no, that's helping people. And there's gonna be other people that's like, no, this is what's ending humanity. Oh, you think so, people are gonna be teamed up with the robots? Yeah, it's gonna be some people that believe it's helping us. They're gonna yeah. be slaves to the robots. Okay. And AI and all that stuff. Then there's gonna be some people that was like, I remember how it was in the good old days before the robots. And when you didn't have to use self-checkout, it was uh -huh. so much better then. You didn't have to go to McDonald's and press buttons to order your Big Mac. Right, like when the dude's standing right there? Yeah. Like why they have him standing there? Mm-hmm. Just let him chill at home. I'm on a robot team if you wanted to know. I do, I did want to know. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate I'm on team did. AI and robots, cause yeah? you know, you can't fight against computers. You think AI can like make art? I mean, they're gonna figure it out. They're getting better as time go. Yeah. But I wouldn't say they, they got, they can beat humans now. But they're doing their own thing. You can get an AI girlfriend that might be better than a real girlfriend though. Have you have you thought about getting an AI girlfriend? Would you like? Would you try? I mean, it? she she listens. That's kind of what, all she does, huh? She well, catered to your needs. Well, they got the robots with like the the realistic butts now. Yeah, but it ain't you know gonna what? beat the real butts though. No, it's not. So, but it's. But that's why they be so stiff. Ain't no. They yeah. don't got no jiggle bots. I'm not all about progression and anything yeah. that can help society move forward. Air fryers were game changers to me. I put everything in the air fryer. I put bagels in that motherfucker. Yeah? Yeah. You believe in ghosts? Yeah, in some sense. Yeah. I don't believe in like ghosts, like um, haunted places and stuff, but I do believe in like, we are spirits and souls and stuff like that. Like you do live on, just not in a physical form. So you never I seen do. a ghost? I mean, I've had like sleep paralysis and they call that like the witch riding your back. You ever had that? I never had sleep paralysis. Yeah, man. they say that's like a ghost or something like messing yeah. with you. Mm, one You're time like, I thought I was a ghost. Yeah. Yeah, I drank too much lean. Yeah, but I that was like, kind of fun. But if I was a ghost, I wouldn't be able to touch myself. So that's what snapped me back to reality. I feel like I heard you say that one time, and I thought you meant you shouldn't be able to jack off. What you mean? You, said, you should yourself. always be able to jack off. You said touch yourself. It's a it's a play on words. Oh, okay. I'm, I was getting I confuse myself sometimes. I'm a little pedantic. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I get a little weird. You believe in free will. Like being able just to do whatever you want, like do whatever you want. some Aleister Crowley, do what thou wilt type stuff. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that. We all need rules and discipline, you know. If, if yeah. it was just free will, then you know, I probably wouldn't even be. Somebody would probably been murdered me. You think so? Yeah, I talk too much sometimes. We need rules for people to be respectful to each other, you know, and yeah. people to care about, have empathy for each other. So I wouldn't say just free will, because. You know, you shouldn't be able to just say what you want to say at any given time. I mean, I believe in free speech, but I do also believe in respect for others. Okay, I agree with you. I'm kind of with you, man. It's a good time, man. Do you, uh, you want to see what's in this globe real quick? The globe? It's the world, right? Yeah. Can we just take a look inside? Oh. Uh, I thought it was plant-based meat at first. <laughs> I thought they never made meat-based plants. But that's Ice Spice, right? It's Ice Spice. That's the Chia Pet? That's the Chia Pet. That's a, that was great marketing right there. I will. Yeah, man. It kind of made me feel weird. I don't know how I feel about visually. She, she looked like a civil rights activist. Like how they would make, they would put stuff in like black and white so you think it was a long time ago? Mm -hmm. That's what this feels like. I, I think she's a little cuter than that. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't think the Chia Pet I, did her justice. I think she also has pupils. That's pretty stuff. cool, though. I love Chia Pets. I mean, yeah. That was a great thing for them to come back with Ice Spice. Man, you want this? Yeah, if you're gonna let me have it. Have it. I'll definitely take, take that. This. Take that. That's for you. I mean, I want the seeds and stuff, though. Yeah. Thank man. you, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she looked like she's sat in the back of the bus. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a lightning round real quick. Um, aliens, real or fake? I think aliens are real, because I think we're living in a simulation, so anytime where they feel like dropping in on us, they can do it to spice things up, you know? Government, good or bad? The government is great. We need, like I say, we need discipline. We need somebody to be able to hold us down. We can't be running around here just doing whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Not saying, but it's all about, is the government good people? Are good people controlling us? You know, and that's all it's about. And I believe it's some good people and there's some bad people. All right, light, is it a particle or a wave? 
Light? Is it a particle? I'm not really that smart at science and stuff, but I'm going to go with a particle. Okay. It's actually based on perception, apparently. I just Googled that before we did this. <laughs> uh, landlords, good or bad? Yeah, landlords is not a bad thing. It's just if you're a slumlord, that's a bad thing. If you're not really doing it, you know, with the intentions on, you know, just being, you know, if you're not taking care of the property, you're not taking care of the people that's living there, you're treating them just like a cash cow instead of like, it, it could be bad landlords. The same thing, like I said, with the government. It could be bad landlords. It could be good landlords. It's just about the person. Maoist rapper Danny Brown <laughs> says landlords are bad. Uh, Oprah, good or bad? Oprah's great. She she gave everybody cars that one time. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. I ain't seen nobody else do that, so she good. I wasn't there, I didn't get a car, And then man. she, you know, color purple. She did do color purple, man. You know? Can't be mad about that. She had the book club. Do you think humans are inherently good or evil? I think we start off good. It's just whatever you go through in your life that keeps you good or make you evil, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of people got underlying trauma. You think Chris Rock was good and then he got slapped and now he's evil? I think all comedians are bad people. I agree with you. <laughs> you know, honestly. Yeah, I've been trying not to reveal that I do comedy on this show. In fact, cut that out. All right, it's my last question. The big, we're gonna, we're gonna stick the landing. Best thing I've ever written. Do you think it's cool that humanity represents the universe's ability to perceive itself? Wow, that's a deep one. I'm not that smart. I don't really understand the question. I don't really understand. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. It's like all these beautiful things and it can't really, you know, it doesn't have consciousness or self-awareness to perceive itself. And then we as humans, we show up and it feels like that's our job to just like look at look at shit, you know? Who is going to look at that plant? If it's like if a tree falls in the woods, who hears it kind of thing. When you phrase it that way, maybe the question's not as deep as I thought it was. <laughs> you know? I did just see a tweet that said bears have a sense of beauty. So maybe, maybe we don't need to be here. I think anything that's, you know, a living, breathing thing is, you know, it's beautiful in some sense, you know? It made me just think about like the game The Sims. You a Sims player? I was. Yeah. I'm not too crazy with it now. They got all type of, you know, you can get all type of mods and stuff and make them naked and bang and stuff. And I was just like weirded out by that. You the first person in the world that didn't want them to be naked? Yeah, that's just going yeah. too far, you know? What's your favorite modded video game? It's, it's going to be so normy of an uh, answer, but I really love my NBA 2K. But yeah. if I'm like creating a player on NBA 2K, then it's like a, a sexier version of myself, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like max out your height or would you go like short? No, max I, keep out my height. I keep my height. I'm above six feet, so okay. I, I can stay at my height. Okay, yeah, I respect that. I do make him more respect, muscular, though. I do respect that. Honestly, he ripped dude. up, you uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. <laughs> just beef up the biceps just a little yeah, bit. I beef him up. I'm also over six feet, but I will, I will definitely make myself taller. I mean, at least we do it in video games. Women do it in real life. We could do it in real they, life. They make eyebrows and eyelashes and, and, and long wigs. You got that shin bone you know, surgery though. You could get, you get. And when you strip them all that, you're like, you're not really, you're a creative player. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm going to get that shin bone surgery. I'm going I'm to lengthen my shin bones. I'm going to be seven feet tall. I think something will eventually go bad with that though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think it's going to throw your stroke game off. My stroke game has had it too good for too long, man. <laughs> I think it, it's time for it to go, man. Yeah. I've been, it's, it's been too good. Anyway, you want to do some would you rather questions real quick? Sure. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? I think that's something that I always um, struggle with. Um, just always thinking about how I'm going to die, which is something you shouldn't be thinking about a lot. I'd probably rather know how instead of when. Yeah. You know, because knowing when is like you, you're watching the clock tick down. And you're just like, oh man, I got to do this. But if they tell you something crazy, like, man, you're going to die in a, you know, they might save your life. You might, you're going to die in a mountain bike accident. Right. You know, not to ride mountain bikes, you know? Stuff like that, you always try to, you try so hard to avoid it. And mm -hmm. then you end up like fumbling into that situation anyway. But then they tell you you're going to die from testicular cancer or something. Then you always checking your balls every day. Yeah. And that right. would be like weird. So. I feel like I'm already doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather get lost in the vacuum of space but still have Wi-Fi or be physically in the internet for the rest of your life? Physically in the internet for the rest of my life. I think yeah. I'm already in the internet for the rest of my life. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. That's like cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like that. Yeah. Chappelle show sketch. And you get plugged in and just being there. Yeah, I'd rather be that. I'd rather live like that. Yeah. That's the future anyway. That's kind of a clear cut one. It's yeah. usually harder, I think. 
right? Nah. These questions are usually harder. I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather switch bodies with one of your parents and raise them or switch bodies with your child and be raised by them? Wow. Can I just not do that? <laughs> I would probably rather raise myself. I would rather switch bodies with one of my parents. Yeah. You know, I would be more on me. You know? Yeah. I would. But then I probably wouldn't end up being a rapper. I would probably be like, you know. Accountant? The president or something. President? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be kind of chill. President Danny Brown? Yeah. Be better than what we got now. We wouldn't have taxes. We would have free health care. What else? What is your whole platform? What, what else? What else could we have? I guess that's it. So still war. We keep war. I mean, we're gonna have to show people we gangster. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, you know, I still gotta show them America's number one. You know, I'm still holding it down for the streets, but um, right, right, right. I would pay the teachers more. Right. I would do everything you're supposed to do right. My Obviously, that's what I'm that. saying. I would enforce a curfew. Yeah? Yeah. What well, time? I think everybody needs to be in at least by midnight because nothing else going on on the streets after that but trouble. I wouldn't, you don't need to be out after. We'll just have earlier club nights, you know? Club would get cracking at like 9 p.m., you know? I could get behind that. I don't yeah. like going out at 11 p.m. Anything anything that's going out, anything that's happening after like midnight, it's not good for the public. We curmudgeon around this motherfucker, man. What do you think is the impact of money on art? Like, how do you think the existence of money changes your artistic expression? If you're doing it for money, then you're just doing what people will buy. You know, so, which is nothing wrong with, you know, everybody needs to make money, but some people that think it's like, you know, just like the dream to be able to do things you love and to be able to support yourself off it, instead of, you know, just being talented and wasting your talent on what other people like. You gotta be able to try to find a middle ground with it. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to sleep right at night if I was doing something that I felt wasn't good and everybody was praising me for it, you know? Mm -hmm. You think uh, your relationship with rap would change if you had everything you need in life taken care of and you could just rap? That's the goal. I think yeah. of any anybody that's doing anything artistic, but like you say, it's, one thing about music is just, you know, it's open for interpretation kind of. It's like, it's subjective, Yeah. you know? Nothing really sucks if you think about it because it's somebody that likes it. Man, some people like stuff that sucks, though. It's, it's subjective, man. Yeah. No, you're right. So I you can't really say anything sucks. That's just your opinion. But it's somebody that loves it, you know? That's true. Okay, on that note, I'm going to ask you about something that I think sucks. How do you feel about the uh, the asking rappers how much their clothes cost industrial complex? I think it's it really sucks. Can't really say anything sucks because it, it really messes up with the kids, you know? It was nothing like having my little cousin like asking me for like Balenciagas and stuff. And it's like, come on, man, what is going on right now? Like, you don't have a job? I was happy to get a pair of Reebok pumps for a hundred dollars. I thought that was baller, you know? Yeah, man. Now these kids want thousand dollar shoes and that's like, man, that's like months of rent. There's somebody out there that can go to Burlington Coat Factory and get fresher than somebody that's just wearing all designer, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's all about your style. It's all about you. It ain't about how much money you really spend on clothes, you know? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You can go thrift. It cost two hundred dollars. Yeah, total. I got this from a thrift store, you know. Yeah. Do you think be, be, being able to build up your own platform online is a good trade for living in a voluntary surveillance state? I think that's exactly what it is. In some sense, I mean, it's great in that sense. I mean, people being able to start small businesses from home and do stuff like that, be able to sell stuff online. I think that's great. You know, you can make safety pins. <laughs> you know, buttons or something, and, and people like it, and you got an audience for it. I mean, that's great, man. Car Monks had a whole chapter on that, mm -hmm. on safety pins. So you're touring right now? Mm -hmm. Or you're like on- you're I'm doing on like a little, little promo press run, but I'll be touring in spring. Okay. So you are you are now sober for eight months, and now that's, this is the first time that you're like performing sober, is that- I went on tour with JPEG Mafia, uh -huh. and that was like, um, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. What is like the big, the big difference compared to like how touring used to be? Coming um, I think I just was making it harder on myself, you know, yeah. before, with my drinking and everything. It started out just being so nervous to go yeah. on stage and, you know, and I would just have a couple of drinks and before I knew it, the drinks, a couple of drinks turned to the bottle and, mm -hmm. you know, now it's just that being sober, it almost became like a therapeutic thing for me just to see 
people in the crowd enjoying the music. But I think also too, I only play for crowds that like me. Right. Before I would be so nervous, I'm bombing, I'm playing in front of people that's possibly going to hate me, mm -hmm. which they have before, you yeah. know. And you just gotta get, you know, get a little tipsy just to be able to just have fun. But now I'm only playing for people that enjoy seeing me. So you've obviously been through a lot public in a very public way, like. Given everything you've been through, how do you resist the urge to drop a gospel album? I don't know how to sing. I don't really feel like it translates well during rap. It I mean, you got to have the voice of a god. So like, stop you know, Kanye. Sing like an angel. Kanye loves to challenge himself, you know? I bombed enough with regular rap. I'm not trying to get booed off the stage praising the Lord. Shit, I don't know. I would love to see a gospel rap, like gospel battle rap. I think that would be amazing. That would be very sick. You know, they just busting out hymns. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know, <laughs> in the pews, they do it yeah. in the pews or maybe different religions, you know, the Quran against the Bible. Yeah, but I think that's how wars start, too, though. So maybe not. I mean, we could they could bring back the old ones. Like, but I guess that will stop wars, you know, if, if we can have, you know, religious gospel battles, religious battle rap. OK, this is a long one. You ever feel like because the government used to have to violently suppress dissent, now they present us with what seems like limitless opportunity for achievement. So we attach our self-worth to what we're able to accomplish in life. And then we burn ourselves out with our own personal ambition. And we could have just like vibed out and gathered nuts and berries and shit. I think that's just social media, man. Everybody get too wrapped up in what someone else is doing. So it makes them feel bad. Like, man, why well, I'm not doing that. I want to take a video on a private jet, you know? Yeah. So I just think it's, it's just when you was, when we didn't know what everybody else was doing, you wasn't that tapped in with other people's lives and stuff. It made you feel a lot better about your life. And that's all it is. Everybody mm -hmm. just need to mind their own business, to be honest. Moral of the episode, mind your own business. <laughs> yeah. Mind your fucking bit. Actually, that could be the end of the episode right there. <laughs>